We have breaking news, everybody. Breaking news from the Associated Press. Hyundai and Kia owners are warned to park outside. These are gas cars, not electric. Hyundai and Kia are telling the owners of nearly 485,000 vehicles in the U.S. to park them outdoors because they can catch fire even if the engines have been turned off. The recalls from two Korean automakers are another in a long string of fire and engine failure problems that have dogged the companies for the past six years. This time the problem is contamination of the anti-lock brake control module that can cause an electrical short. This increases the risk of fire while the vehicles are being driven or are parked. Affected are certain Kia Sportage SUVs. You can read the years here if you want to, and you can read the type of car. Just pause it here and read it if you want to. The automakers say they have 11 reports of fire in the U.S., but no injuries. Thank God for that. Documents posted Tuesday by the U.S. safety regulators say owners should park the vehicles outside and away from structures until repairs are made. Dealers will replace a fuse. In addition, Hyundai dealers will inspect the control modules and replace them if needed. Hyundai will mail notification letters, blah, 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 blah. And then blah, 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 and more blah, blah, blahs. Uh, warning signs, you can pause this and read all this mess. What I wanted to say was, you know, it reminds me a lot of the Chevy Bolt and their problems. Somewhere around 15, 16, 17 of those have caught on fire, and they told people to park them outside not to charge them past 80%, to watch them while they charge, and all kinds of things. There's a lot of similarities here. You know, and this is not a time for the EV slurpers and ICE vehicle haters to celebrate. I don't care whose car it is. If it catches on fire, it's sad. There were people that celebrated every time an electric car caught on fire. My EV-hating cousin, he did not. He was a man about it. He was a gentleman about it. And he did not like the idea of the cars catching on fire. And I feel the same now. It's not a time to celebrate, but it's a time to keep this in the back of your mind so that if an EV hater does celebrate the next electric car that catches on fire, you can pull it out of your brain and throw it at him. You know, but not to celebrate. No way. Gas cars, electric cars, they can all catch on fire. Every one of them. I mean, gas cars have freaking gasoline in them. That's combustible. Of course they can catch on fire. Electric cars, batteries, you know battery. You know cell phones used to blow up in people's pockets. Almost everything on earth can burn. And then you mix it with gas, batteries, electronics. Yeah, you know, if it's a technological wonder that, that more don't catch on fire. Seriously. I mean, hats off to engineers, car designers, and everybody involved. Because, man, if they weren't doing a hell of a job, I guarantee you more and more cars would be catching on fire. It's amazing that this is an everyday news. Seriously. Also, if you are the type that celebrates when the other side uh, has problems, if you're the type that celebrates at other people's misery, I really want nothing to do with you. You are a flawed individual if you celebrate when what you consider to be the other side suffers. If you celebrate another man's suffering, you've got a major problem. So don't celebrate, but also don't be afraid to throw out what happened if somebody else is celebrating. That's enough bloviating. 